Oh, boy. I can see him. Back up is on the way. Back up. It ends right here. You fucker. We've got a 211 on a group security truck. Respond to the What's wrong with her now? All patched up. It stops on a dime. Seriously. Look, it's sharp. taste.
Miss, Miss, Ken 3, Dragon Man. We heard enough of your shit. Try not to take flight. for a rad tat? Can't go wrong with any of these. That's a cool one. Be good. You stay over there. I stay here. Everybody wants something from me, and I always give discount. That ain't none of my business. Whoa, you need to find peace, bra.
Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before asked... I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I looked through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon, I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, uh, I got my big eyes, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes, another chapter the lost is descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks. Don't be a bitch. Ah, oh, shit. You weren't so uh. tough now, are you?
with the ball. This is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years. Oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd over in Mifuchi Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. 
And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, and the evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. Just then, just, just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike, Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. Remember? Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went so Oh! Oh! You hit me! Oh! We're near Floyd Cap. I seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Now keep going. I turn right here. Just keep on a minute. This is the place, I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! I'd love to. Listen, I could do tomorrow afternoon anytime from three. Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you, Wade. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never approved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait. Uh... I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. All right. Okay. Fuck. Turd. Citizens arrest! Time! Ah! Uh -huh. 
Saw the error of his ways. Who says chivalry is dead? I only wish more people were like you today. There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Uh, 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 uh. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, I can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael. Oh, she might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. So, Mike, what were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Rock, raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got is packed with nutrients. 
fibers, vitamins, and they don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this. I'm making it. The blender slips, juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag, Jimmy's, right? Okay, just that moment, Amanda comes in. Sees me there with I didn't ask for a blow-by-blow blow of how you lost your last... <laughs> last ounce of masculine pride. I wanted to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy, T. Don't T me. Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend. I'm beyond kale, okay? It's too late for kale. And it's magical powers to have any effect on me. Fine. Or yoga. Or cock therapy. I'm a crank, cannibalism, an incest kind of guy. Oh, don't worry, T. They'd skip that talk and go straight to shock treatment with your ass. You two chilled out to say my name, you fat slob. You two relaxed and you laid back Los Santos embarrassment, huh? Is one letter all you can bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around? Whoa, dude, you do not let the fuck up. I got ten years worth of venting to do. The let up, my friend, is a long way off. Fine, fine, do what the fuck you want. Want? Well, hmm, I, I want to save your daughter from making an ass of herself. Hey, oh, really, man? Really? What is it? Money or a fight? What? What do you come Whoa! here looking for? I came looking for you. And I found you. Let's find your baby. You can't park there. Production vehicles only. Did you see that Miranda Cowan sex tape? Holy shit. Douche. <laughs> Come on, Sir, you dipshit. You ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that. Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. That was really, really good. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. <laughs> Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. We've got a little show to do here. Okay. Three. Two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. Ah! Yeah. Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. Mm. Get that out. Stuff a 20 in this. Oh. <laughs> fucking do something about this? All uh, right, that's enough. Oh, oh, I said that's enough! Hey, 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 hey I got security. Security! No. What you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy. Come on, right there. No. 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 Come here, you little shit. No. Go home right now, Tracy. Hey, where you running off to? We take their truck. Time was. What? Get in the truck, Michael. Don't the trust around this. Not no more. You don't have enough this. I got a deposit on that truck. We're running that prick down. Look, he went left. How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raised a daughter in this town to get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig! We'll flatten this. Fucking last one. 
I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a race car. We gotta go to the left. Look at him. He's on the train track. We can have a little fun with him. But let's not try to kill this brick, alright? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? He went left. I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. Fucking idiot! Right, up there. Out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Uh, Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrité, mm -hmm. I mean, I need music, or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> what the fuck is that? All right. All right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on. Lower. Oh, lower. Come on. Oh. Please don't kill me, okay? Uh -huh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right. Please, come no, on, get no. off. Take off. Go, now, before I change my mind. Uh, I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay.
Hello. Yeah, can you send out a cab to me? Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Sounds good, thanks. Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. Yeah. Ah, thank God for that. Hey, my man, where you going? Pacific Bluffs. I'll get you there fast, buddy. Okay, buddy, there you go. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. Hey, we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right, I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry, everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turned things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you? Turn things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <sighs> oh, boy. Where do I start? I went back into the business. That business? I gotta be honest with you, Doc. I mean, why am I paying you all this money if not to be honest, for once? It felt good. That government guy I told you about, he got wind of it. It's fine. Expected. <laughs> Problem is, he's not the only one. He fucking found me, Doc. My old pal, Trevor. He's alive and he ain't going nowhere. This is bad, Doc. You gotta help me. Hmm. Honesty's an obstacle for you, Michael. Have you considered that transparency might be less painful than obfuscation? Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people, and I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. Just don't like myself very much, Doc. That's the truth. Hmm. What about your... Sexual problems, Michael. I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. 
Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? Gym later? Uh huh. Okay. Crap. My bad. Over oh. here, you frickin' dick. Hey, girl. Welcome. We use clean needles, mostly. Some of my pieces have been in magazines. Thank you. Took that well. Can't go wrong with any of these. I'm using this money for drugs. That's a masterpiece. I'm good. Right on, enjoy that. I went to art school. Real clean work. Your body is a canvas. Fix them up. That's art right there.
You know, you're not much of a bleeder. Thanks. I need the cash. Later. Training, you okay? Why, hello there. Yeah, yeah. Have I a talk seat. To you about that email you sent. This is some of my best work yet, <laughs> I think. Anytime. What's up, homie? What's up, homie? It's all good. My dad's really happy with me. He loves you, too. Your dad loves me? Oh, he loves everybody. <laughs> That's cool. Yo, like even when they catch his wave, or when he gets cut in line at the amusement park, or even when he orders a chai latte, and somebody steals it, and then the man's like, who in God's name ordered a chai latte? Oh, shit, he sounds like a cool dude. I mean, he used to be a little bit nasty, but then I came around and he dropped that. Man, I never really knew my dad. Yeah, he's kind of distant, though. I mean, he travels a lot. It's kind of crazy, but I still love him. Even though all my friends say I shouldn't because of what he did to me. <laughs> all right, man, look, I got to get back to normality. Yo, it's cool, homie. Be cool. So, like, man, I know it's rough out there, man, but you gotta have faith, man, all right? It's everything's gonna be okay. Like the therapist above says, man, it's gonna be okay, all right? You gotta chill the hell out, man, all right? Otherwise, it's not gonna be too good. You gotta enjoy life, all right? Because the alternative is not so good, not so good, man. So, like, the alternative to life, man, is death. And the interesting thing is that, well, life is cool, but so is death, man. I mean, life is like a crazy mind fuck. And then death, well, I mean, that's like a crazy mind fuck too, man. It's outrageous praise. Oh, man, it's so rad. So, oh, man, I mean, I was sent here to clear things up. And it's not that people don't understand. It's just that people don't understand. I mean, like, hey, you know, you got to do the right things, not the lame things. It's like when you get 10 coffees. 
okay? And then you get the stickers that say you get a totally free one, man. I mean, that's outrageous. Ugh. Here's something interesting. Try not to be such a buzzkill. For example, when your mom calls and she really ruins the buzz and you're all up there on the high astral plane with the big guy himself and she's like, do your washing. And you're like, but how come we live with a guy that's not even my dad? And she's like, you're special. And I'm like, cool. Have you ever wondered who I am? I'm not. I mean, I'm somebody that's like something that's really far out there. I mean, it's like when you watch sports and they pour the orange drink all over the old guy when the team wins. I mean, that's what I'm a fan of. Only, only it's a little bit different. So like, yeah, the really important thing is to make sure everything's clear. That's what my dad says, make it clear. I mean, it's me, him, and this other guy who no one really understands because he, like, doesn't speak or do anything. And I'm like, we're all supposed to be equal, the three of us. And I'm like, Dad, that's not fair. And he's like, I don't make the rules. And I'm like, yes, you do. Hey, hey, man, you know, things are always really cool. But, like, sometimes they're not really cool, and you want to get really mad, man. But, hey, man, don't get mad, and don't get even. Get mellow, man, because that's, like, a longer way of getting even, man. And it's just not cool when people are not cool, and then you got to be like, hey, bro, man, that's not cool. And that's just the way things are, man. You know, that's just the way they are. What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fool's heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fool's heads, it's asshole's heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? 
Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new mollus, sort of a super mollus, and it's called Priapolds, and it's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA, and he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs, you know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Oh, I need backup now! Oh, nearby units report immediately! 